In activity three, we're gonna take a perfectly fine picture, this picture of the changing of the guard, which you'll need to go and find in your um, images folder. And the changing of the guard is a picture that we're going to make old. We're gonna make it look really old. And in order to do that, we're gonna try a number of effects and we're gonna start out by looking at some of the colors. So the first color that we're going to modify or the colors that we're gonna modify is with this hue saturation choice. So under the colors menu, choose hue saturation. And what we wanna adjust are hue, lightness and saturation, these three sliders. And so take a moment now just to try out the different sliders in different positions and try and understand what it is that you think they might be doing. So that's the hue slider. The lightness slider looks something like that or something like that. And the saturation slider looks something like that or something like this, okay? So in ordinary common terminology, hue, as you'll notice, see how these colors up here change. This is sort of a, a slim down version of the color wheel. And as you rotate this, it's literally rotating the colors around the color wheel. And so what it's doing is it's swapping the colors that should be in the picture with the colors that are now in the rotated color wheel. And that's what hue does, is it changes the colors of the picture. Lightness is a little bit different and lightness makes the colors that are there lighter. So for instance, the green that was here becomes light green here. And if we consider this to be a neutral green, here, this becomes dark green there. And so it's literally darker versions of a color or lighter versions of the color. And you'll see that, for instance, the red becomes really, really light and it sort of pops in a very unusual and strange way. And saturation, if you adjust it all the way to this side, you can see that saturation is about how much color there is. And so for instance, this is almost as if we've taken a drain to our color and just drained all the color out of it. Or at the opposite extreme, it's almost like we stuck all of our colors inside of electricity and they're all as vibrant as possible and uh, almost bursting out of themselves. So you'll see this is where we started from and we can just hit reset to get back to the zeros. And what we're gonna do with our hue is we're going to adjust it just down, just slightly, not too far but just so that it gets um, not quite the right colors because old cameras and old film don't quite show up properly. We're gonna do the same thing with lightness. We're just gonna darken it just a tad. And then saturation, we're going to really drop some colors of this. It should just feel like there's a drain at the bottom just opened up and the colors have just sort of disappeared into it. So once you're happy, these colors, this hue should be somewhere between minus 10 and minus 30. Um, lightness the same, somewhere between minus 10 and minus 30. And saturation, anywhere from minus 30 to even minus 70, if you wanna take it way far away. But I think somewhere around minus 30 looks better for me. I'm gonna hit okay, and my colors are now fixed. So this is a good time to save your work. So you can just choose uh, File, Save As. And at this point, we can go to save it as activity three and the dot XCF will come on the end automatically and we can just hit save. And yes, I will replace the image and we're away.